Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome to my home in the middle of the week. Oh my gosh, I was so excited a second ago because I thought it was Wednesday. It's only Tuesday. Oh well. But anyway, had a fun day today. So I got my yoga club in. I, I, I'm not going to kid you, I, I had to open it up. Loving it, cannot wait to put it on. But it's about 10 o'clock, I got home about 10 minutes ago from work and uh, I just, after I do this uh, little video, I'm going to take a shower and I think I'm just going to go to bed. It just feels like it's been a long day. And, oh, it's so hot and sticky. I mean, it's only about, oh, it's 79, but it's really, really humid out here, but it does have a nice breeze. Got the air conditioner on inside. It's 82 inside, but it feels really nice. So I can't wait to go in, take a shower, and maybe just, maybe read a little bit. But anyway... So anyway, I got my yoga club, really excited to, to do that, and I got my Glam Bag X. Kind of like I'm excited because it's new, but not real excited. So anyway, I'll probably wait and, and do those this weekend, because I've already got some things to uh, put out during the week. But today, you know what I'm most excited about is um, last week weekend, um, I was chatting with Trish from Quilty Mom Trish. And I was talking, to, I think we were talking about the orange cappuccino, orange vanilla swirl cappuccino from Smart Sips. It's one of my favorite uh, flavors from there. And I was thinking, I wonder if you could find a creamsicle wine. And so I was quite surprised. I went on to Google it. And there's a lot of companies that make a creamsicle wine. But this one place in Pennsylvania caught my eye. And so I decided to put in an order from them. It's a small uh, family-owned business. Um, it's something that they, they had a hobby, and they just kind of started this business. The wines are kind of named after their children and some of the beloved family members. They've got a, I guess they make the wine in their hometown, but they're, um, they've got a tasting room, which sounds really, really nice. With um, It's painted outside with a... Kind of like the insignias of the wine on the outside of the building you can buy bottles of wine you can try glasses of wine you can get like flights of wine and it just really looks like fun so it looks like it's maybe half maybe a little more than halfway between pittsburgh and pennsylvania so it's got to be really maybe it's in the middle of the allegheny mountains or something about that or maybe it's no i think the poconos are higher but anyway it just looks like a really fun place to go. So if you've been there, it's called Reclaimed Vines. I'll have the information um, below in my website. They're not my, my website, it'll be their website. I'm tired. Yeah, so in case it's something you guys want to check out, they do ship wine to a lot of different states. It was $75 and you got free shipping. So, you know, I can buy $75 of wine like that. So um, the wines I got were all between $15 and $16, so it's not that expensive. They've really got some really, really cool, cool flavors. So I'm sure I'm going to do another um, haul with them later, right? Because unless, you know, if you do know someone that works there, if they need someone to PR for them, because even though hashtag Nancy wants to PR for Vinyl Box, I would PR for any wine company. Keep that in mind if you know anyone that has a small wine shop and they need me to do it. I would love it. So anyway, I printed some items from um, their website just for the different wines, but I'll probably just try to do little snippets and put it in my video at the end, little pictures, so you can see the different flavors that they have. And I'll just show you the, the ones that I got. So this first one I got, plus you know, I'm, I'm a sweet wine girl. I'm a sweet wine girl. So this first one that I got is called Vanilla. And I don't know how good this is going to focus at night, but it's a mead wine, so it's honey, and it's uh, got Gettysburg um, peaches, peaches in it, and vanilla, so it's just really cute. So it tells you where it's, I don't think it's going to focus again, but that town is like their hometown uh, where they do the bottling and they make it where they live, but then their shop is in Huntington, Pennsylvania, where they have the wine tasting. So this one sounds really good with peaches and vanilla and honey. This one they named after, I believe it's their son, Daniel. And it's made with Pennsylvania Diamond Wines. So it's a sweet wine. I mean, that is the name of the company up there, Reclaimed Vines. Alrighty. So this one, I'm not going to say the name, but it's, it's so cute. I, I had to get it. So it's Charlotte's Hot Butt. So it is a sweet Chardonnay wine. 
with Japanese pepper flavor. I think we've even got a little pepper in there. You know, I'm really surprised. I thought for sure half of these wines would be gone, but I don't think anyone was in today, and you know why? Because um, our two bosses, our two owners, are in Kentucky for a national sales meeting, so yeah. So it was a good day to have wine delivered because nobody was there to share it. I got to take it all home. This one's a sweet honey wine, honey badger. And yeah, so the one that I'm going to try, getting ready, got my little wine glass. This one even has sparkles in it. So this is the one that led me to this place. And there's even sparkles in here, which I don't know if they're going to show up. But this is the creamsicle, creamsicle wine. So creamsicle and a sweet white wine. They've even got wine with sparkles in it that is a birthday cake flavor. How perfect is that to celebrate or give to someone for their birthday? And yeah, so it just really looks interesting. You know, I got my power tool because yeah, I, I love my. Alrighty, I'm back. Had a little technical difficulties here, but anyway, I'm gonna do this quick. So. I got the creamsicle wine. I'm not sure what showed. I mean, right now it's kind of sweating because it was in the refrigerator getting cold. It has some glitter in here. So it's orange wine. No, it's white wine. Mixed with like a creamsicle flavor. Alrighty. So cheers, everyone. Hope you're having a great week. I know I am now. Okay, even if it is only Tuesday. Cheers. Oh my gosh. It is tart. Like, you know, sometimes you get a green grape. And it's more tart than it is sweet. So it's got that kind of tartness. But you can t definitely taste orange. Definitely taste the vanilla, but the grape in here... That is tart, very tart, but oh my gosh, this is sweet. So anyway, thanks again for joining me. I'm going to leave some information below, and if you've ever been here, I would love to hear some of your favorite wines from there. I know they've got some blueberry wine. They've got wines that made with, um, like, brandy, so really nice sipping wines. They do have dry wines, and wines, I think it's got cotton candy in it, and yeah. So anyway, I'm going to leave what I can below. If you do know them, I would love to hashtag the answer. We'd love to PR for them too. So just really great, fun wines to just kind of come home, sit, have a little bit of wine, take a shower, either go to work on YouTube for a little bit, or go read. So anyway, I hope you guys are having an amazing week. And I just want to thank you guys for stopping in, spending a little bit of your day with me. It means more to me than I can ever let you know. So go out and have a fabulous week. And we'll chat, chat again soon. Bye-bye.